Oh, 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 got him. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> nice. That is the what we are looking for. That is going to be my CUDA tube video intro. Hey everybody, how we doing today? So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to select the correct CUDA tube for your specific application. Now I sell 55 different CUDA tubes, so it can be a bit confusing, but hopefully this will help you to select the correct one that applies to your specific circumstances. Number one, match the CUDA tube with the rod that you're using. So for a light, medium light, or medium weight rod, I recommend using the baby CUDA tubes, the quarter inch tube versions. For a medium, medium heavy, and heavy weight rod, I'd recommend moving up to the classic and the double treble, which are based off the 7 16 tube. Number two, baby CUDA tube or the classic style CUDA tube. Now, of course, you always want to refer to number one, dependent on the rod that you're using, we'll quickly identify which tube to go for. Uh, on the CUDA side of it, uh, Barracudas are sight feeders, okay? So they're looking for any movement in the water and then they go aggressively attack it. So the CUDAs will see a larger tube easier than the smaller one. So that is one of the factors. Uh, for me personally, a lot of times when I'm on the flats or in shore, I have my light tackle rod, so I tend to lean towards the smaller baby CUDA tubes. Uh, however, if I was strictly going for big CUDAs, CUDAs only, then I wouldn't have a problem throwing just the classic. Uh, do remember you are constantly casting and your fan casting covering water, so throwing a big heavy CUDA tube can get tiring, so that is also a factor to think about. Number three, J-hook or treble hook? Now, CUDAs are slash biters, okay? What they're looking to do is basically to sever that bait fish in half, uh, either take out the head, take out the tail part of it, then they could just swing out very leisurely and just gobble what, up whatever's left, okay? So uh, because of that savage bite, a treble hook will give you a little bit better hookup rate, uh, primarily because not every time a CUDA is going to bite the back half where the hook is. They might back bite the middle, they might bite the front, and that treble hook will allow you to not only grab them in the mouth, but also in the cheek, in the chin, or even the body. However, having a big old CUDA with a mouthful of sharp teeth, and then you add to it a treble hook, trying to release them can be very difficult and dangerous. Not to mention it is not very good for the CUDA. So a single J-hook is almost as effective, but when it comes to that release, it makes things a lot easier. Number four, single weight or double weight? Now, my general rule of thumb is if I am in waters that are two foot or less, or if I'm sight fishing, I tend to stick with the single weight. The reason being is a double weight sinks fairly quickly. And in that shallow water, if you're not cranking, as soon as it hits the water, it'll end up bouncing off the bottom. And with the treble hooks, you'll end up snagging weeds and then you're basically ineffective. Also, when I'm side fishing, I tend to be within relatively close distances. And that's when that single weight will allow me to have a better presentation, not such a big splash, and I can control it a little bit better. Now the double weighted, what it does is it gets you distance as well as distance in the wind, which is occurs around here quite a bit. So when you are blind casting for CUDAs, you're basically wanting to cover as much water as possible. Now CUDAs have very good eyesight, so you don't have to plunk it right on their head. Uh, if you're looking at 180 degrees, you really only need to make four casts 
to cover that full 180 degrees. However, the more distance that you get, the better you are, the better the chances that you're going to have to find a CUDA. So that double weight gets you that distance, plus it gets you into the wind. Also, the double weights will allow you to do is to fish deeper water. So if you're fishing channels or high tide, uh, you could throw the double weighted, let it sit, and then rip it through, bringing that tube down in the lower water columns versus the single weight where it's going to tend to sit up on top. Number five, single hook, double hook. Now, as I described earlier in regards to how a CUDA attacks its food, it's basically looking to sever that bait fish uh, in half uh, to take off the head, take off the center torso, or take off that tail. So with a single hook, uh, if the CUDA goes for the head, occasionally you're going to miss that bite, okay? And to a lesser degree, if they bite in the center, your tail, you possibly can miss that bite. But if they get the tail in, then you've got the hook and you're set. Now the double trebles there are built for that. So if they go for that head, they've got a hook there. They go for that body around there. There's either a hook in front of it, hook behind it, or if it goes for that tail, boom, you've got them there. So definitely an increased hookup for the double trebles. However, okay, Sharp toothy critter, not one treble hook, two treble hooks becomes very, very dangerous when you're trying to unhook them. And again, it's more harmful for the CUDA if you are looking to release them. Number six, color. Now I have five different colors. We've got black, green, orange, pink, and yellow or chartreuse. Now which one is best for me personally? I tend to lean towards more natural colors and out of those five, black is really kind of the only natural color out there. However, to be honest with you, the color I choose is whichever one I grab out of the bag, I don't even look. I personally don't believe that it really makes that much of a difference to a CUDA, so you're going to have to ask a CUDA to be sure, but I think they're more off of that movement and that instinct kicks in and they have to go over there and kill that thing moving through the water. Um, I will give you this though. Green is my most popular selling by far. So if that helps you out, I don't know. But like I said, going to have to go talk to a CUDA and find out yourself. Okay, so hopefully those six topics will help you to figure out which is the best CUDA tube for you. Uh, I will say in regards to the color, I did try to make it a little bit easier by creating the multi-packs. So there's the four rainbow colors in one pack, or you can get the five pack, which includes the black. Uh, other than that, take a look at your rod and uh, that will narrow your options in half. Uh, then take a look at the conditions you're going to be fishing. Is it going to be windy? Are you going to be sight fishing? Is it going to be shallow water? Is it going to be deeper water? And that will help you narrow it down. And finally, really take a good thought about this. How comfortable are you about releasing a very toothy barracuda with? Not only sharp teeth, but two treble hooks, one treble hook, or a single J hook. And that will help you narrow it down. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, take a look at what we have to offer. And uh, hopefully one of those will work out for you.